Disclaimer. Gaming 24-7 is not responsible for your game files. We highly suggest you back up your game files before following any tutorials. Thanks and enjoy the show. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you are new. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if it's your first time showing up here. Glad to have you. Go ahead and hit that sub button. Smash that like button for me. And let's get into it guys. This is going to be a uh, updated tutorial on how to install LSPDFR and getting it updated to the newest version uh, for GTA 5. So with that being said, go ahead and click that first link in the description and it's going to bring you to LCPDFR and right here LSPDFR first response 04.9 build 8678 and it is compatible for version 3028 guys okay mm -hmm. and stay tuned to the end of the video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on the next time this updates so you do not have to um, worry about um, not being able to play your game uh, while it's updating okay you'll be able to play your game if you follow my uh, tips and tricks so stay tuned towards the end of the video so go ahead and click this link right here in the description is going to bring you here download this file right here click right here all right and you're going to scroll down and you're going to click right here agree and download and we want the manual install guys right here so we're going to click right here and download all right once that downloads bring it to your desktop click that next link in the description it's going to bring you to this page right here this is where you're going to find script hook v and this was released on october 6 so this is the newest version right here you want to click right here and you want to download okay just like so once we have that go ahead and bring it to the desktop I got mine right here all right guys so what you want to do is bring up your main game directory uh, if you've been following my tutorials you should know how to get to your main game directory but if you do not let me show you and this is for Steam users so what you want to do is click on Steam what you want to do is go to Grand Theft Auto 5 right here all right right click manage and browse local files okay and this will be your main game directory right here okay guys so first things first um if you have not updated your game to the newest version and you can hover over here and um, figure out which version you were on all right and we i believe it's it's one of these sorry this one right here I am on the current version I am updated but if you do not know how to do that let me show you how to do that real quick so what you want to do is right click Grand Theft Auto 5 you want to go to manage I'm sorry you want to go to properties you want to go to properties okay click on installed files and you want to click right here where it says verify integrity of game files right here guys and once you do that, it's going to take about five to ten minutes, depending on your computer. And then you're going to be up to date on the newest version of Grand Theft Auto 5. And then we can move forward from here. All right, guys. So once we have that, go ahead and bring up your main game directory. And we're going to be right here where it says Grand Theft Auto 5, okay, in our main game directory. And this is all you got to do to update is click on that folder. With the LSPDFR. All right. And if you are like me, um, what I usually do is I come in here to, before I do this, I come in here to LSPDFR and my keys I and I and my LSPDFR I and I, I copy these and put them in a folder. That way, when I update, uh, I can just put those back in there, okay? Uh, and I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So, um, what you want to do is highlight everything in here. All right. 
except for the licenses and hold down your control key and deselect the rph readme.txt okay you don't need the licenses and you do not need the rph readme.txt in your files okay so i'm going to make sure we're back over here where it says grand theft auto 5 and we just want to drag everything and drop it into this buffer zone right here this gray zone right here we call the buffer zone well i'll do it anyways uh, right here drag and drop it all right and it's going to ask you to replace the files in the destination go ahead and click yes All right, you want to click that refresh button. All right. Um, now we're going to exit out of that right there. Go ahead and bring up the script up V folder. And we're going to double click this bin folder right here. Okay, the only two files you need in here are going to be the script hook V.dll and the input 8.dll. So hold down your control key and select both of those. And you want to drag and you want to drop them in and replace the two files in the destination just like so okay guys all right so now here are the keys uh, that i had saved oops from the older version uh, these are my two two three seven two uh keys um, but i just i saved them so what you want to do if you're like me is Come in here to LSPDFR, go down to your keys I and I, open that up, come back over here to the ones you had saved before. Hopefully, if you did not, you just gonna have to go through here and, and rechange all your, your settings and stuff. Um, but I like to just copy them and that way I'd have them for the next go around. So go ahead and hit go ahead and select all this, hit control C. And we're going to come over here to the keys, I and I. We're going to select everything, and we're going to hit Control V. And what that's going to do is just copy and paste your old keys into your new I and I. And we're going to click Save. All right. And same thing for the LSPDFR keys right here. We're going to open up from the, uh, the new one. And we're going to open up from our old one. Control C. And we're going to come over here, highlight everything, Control V. Okay. File, save. Exit out of that. Now exit out of that. All right. Go ahead and click refresh. All right. So you're not done yet. Let me go ahead and uh, if you haven't already, create a shortcut for the Rage plugin hook and then pin it down to your desktop your, your uh, taskbar right here and what you want to do is you want to open up rage click on it hold down your shift key all right this is the first time consent from rage uh, I just want to read through this very carefully and then just hit accept all right if you haven't done this already make sure your plugin uh, threshold timeout is at 60,000 okay if it's not at 60,000 go ahead and change that to a 60,000 come over here to your plugins load all plugins on startup if you have multiple and then you're gonna save and launch okay but before we do that we want to come over here to our game settings and we want to back up game version okay back up current version through rage all right only takes a second to back this game up and that way you can revert um, when they come out with these uh, new updates for GTA 5 this is going to be one way to do it guys and I'm going to show you another way or two other ways you can do it so that way you can play uh, while LSPDFR and ScriptUpV are updating you can go back and revert to your copy 
and I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. All right, guys, once you have your copy backed up, and it should take about five to ten minutes um, for that, you are good to go. You can come back here and save and launch. But before you do that, let me show you uh, what you can do to um, just minus that out. What you can do, two different ways you can do this, guys. So the next time it updates, you can go back and play your game. So what you would want to do the first way is come into your main game directory. Highlight the playgta5.exe. Come down here. I mean, I'm sorry. Scroll up here and hold down your control key and click on the launcher and the language select and the GTA 5 EXE. So you should have four files right there, okay? And what you would do is uh, copy those into a um, folder. And I'm going to do that real quick. So I'm going to just create uh, a new folder on my desktop. And we are going to name it um backup uh 3028 gta gta5 okay so we'll come in here hold down the uh control key and select those four files right click copy come into this folder right click and paste okay that's one way to do it and when it up when the game updates uh you can um bring these files back into your main game directory and drop them in and it will go back to this version right here okay that's one way to do it um and let me show you another way what I like to do is come back to common and if you have space and which you if you've modded LSPD4, if you've modded GTA 5, you should already have a copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay. So this is my second copy here I use for 5M. Uh, it's my clean copy. So what you would do is every time this is my LSPD4 copy right here. See it's got the LSPD4. Every time I get through playing LSPD4. When I'm done playing for the evening, so let's just say I go to bed tonight and GTA 5 updates, well, I'll still be able to play it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my LSPDFR copy. All right, this is for Steam users. And mine says copy right here. This is my, my clean version, and this is my LSPDFR version. So when I'm done playing the game, if I'm done playing LSPDFR for the night, okay, what I would do up here, or right here, is going to be naming it to LSPDFR, okay? And then come over here to copy, and just take that away, okay? And make sure it says Grand Theft Auto 5. So, what's going to happen is, when it updates... Whatever folder says Grand Theft Auto 5 is going to update. All right. So if I go to bed tonight and it updates, this folder updated, but this one didn't. Okay. So whenever I want to play it while it has um, updated and you can, uh, your LSPDFR, you're waiting on LSPDFR and your script of V, you can just come in here and name this copy. And then just take away this LSPD bar right here and make sure this is back to the Grand Theft Auto 5. Double click on it or go to your Rage plugin hook and fire it right on up. You're good to go. You can get inside the game and play it until LSPD 4 and Script V updates. And then you want to go back and then do what I showed you at the beginning. So that's how you would do it for the next ones. For your future updates, that's what I recommend. Um, you can do it one of two different ways. Is copying it into the other folder and then drag and dropping it back into your main game. Or have two copies. Have one of them update. Have the other one not. Um, and then you're good to go. So, um, Guys, let me show you 
um, in game that this version is working. And uh, yeah, see you in the game. All right, guys, we have loaded inside of LSPDFR just to show you that everything is working good. Um, go ahead and we will hit our F4 for Studi. And I was playing around with Franklin earlier, so this is why he's loading up. Uh, but, uh, my menu, my character will pop up. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. These people are crazy. So, yeah, guys, everything working. And, uh,. Yeah, guys. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button. Consider subscribing if you are new. And click that bell. Click all so you don't miss when I go live or post new content. And uh, until next time, it's been your boy Gamer 24 7. Much love to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have shown me this channel. Uh, continuing to grow. And uh, yeah, guys, can't wait for the next step. And that's it. It's going to do it for me. I will see you in the next one. It's been your boy Gaming 24-7. I'm out of here. Much love. Peace out.